Welcome back to the prep lab. This is my favorite lesson. It's math 108 ratios. David and I started tutoring with the Princeton Review and they came up with a way to do ratios that just blew my mind and changed the way I tutored. I loved it and I'm gonna teach it to you today. A ratio is a relationship between two parts of something. It's a comparison. It's a part to a part and we're comparing something to something else. Just like a fraction is a relationship of a part to a whole, ratios work just like fractions. And like fractions, ratios are reduced to make them smaller. So when we have a large quantity of things, we put ratios into small numbers that we can understand, like three to five. Let's take a look at a ratio problem, and I'm gonna set it up for you. If I have six apples and eight oranges, the ratio of six to eight is reduced to three to four. That's it. That's all you have to do is reduce it like a fraction. Ratios can be written three ways. The first is with a colon, three, two, four. The second is actually with the word two. We can say three, two, four, T-O, four. And lastly, ratios can also be written as a fraction. So three over four can be said three to four. I know it's scurry. There's too many ways to do it, but that's the way it is in English. Let's look at an example. In the junior class, there are 200 students. Maria and Joanna are running for class president. The ratio of votes was five to three in favor of Maria. What's the number of votes cast for Juana? Well, what was it that the Princeton Review taught us that was so special? They taught us this, the ratio box. And that is part to part equals the whole. That's right in our ratio, five to three. You add the two parts together and you get a whole of eight. But remember, ratios are reduced. So a reduced number is a number divided. So we have eight total, and the total number of students is 200. So the relationship is divide or multiply. So we divide 200 by eight, and we get eight times 25 equals 200. In our box set up here, this is the ratio line. This is the total line, and in the middle is my favorite, the multiplier. You multiply three times 25, just like you multiply eight times 25, and you multiply five times 25. Five times 25 is 125. Three times 25 is 75, and 125 plus 75 equals our total 200. In the real world, the numbers don't divide out perfectly, so you round ratios. On the ACT and the SAT, they work out perfectly. What else do they ask? They also ask, what fraction did Maria was, receive? What was the probability that if a student was picked out of the whole, it would be, uh, she would have voted for Maria? So that probability, Maria got five in our ratio out of eight. And Juana got three out of eight, and that makes eight out of eight, our whole, or 100%. These problems are actually very easy, and everybody can learn to master them. One more example and we're done. The ratio of apples to oranges is six to seven. If there are 52 pieces of fruit, how many are oranges? Set up the ratio box and solve for oranges. We put in six and seven, we add them together to get 13. There are 52 that are the whole, so 52 divided by 13 is four. 13 times four is 52. We write in the multiplier. Six times four is 24, seven times four is 28, 
24 plus 28 is equal to 52. There are 28 oranges. And that's my favorite lesson, 108 ratios.